Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my simple, easy, no fuss kind of makeup look. Um, I'm not gonna do like a cakey or super full coverage foundation. The eyes are gonna be super simple. Um, I like to do looks like this in the summer because I hate being out in the heat and feeling like my makeup is gonna melt off. Um, I, I hate that feeling. I instantly wanna take my makeup off when it's like 90 degrees outside. And in Indiana, when it gets hot, it gets very humid. So, and ignore my hair. It, it it just does what it is today. I tried some dry shampoo and it um it didn't do its job. I should probably just wash my hair. I'm just trying to avoid it because of the color. So, um, but yeah, like I said, we're just gonna do super simple and easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna start off with primer. This is just um. You can use any primer for this, it doesn't really matter. But today I'm gonna to use the Pores No More Luminizer Primer from Dr. Brandt. I got this, I think, in my first ever BoxyCharm like a couple of years ago, maybe a year ago. Ooh, this is only good for 12 months. If you didn't know, on the back of a lot of cosmetics, there's this little symbol and it tells you how long a product is good for. Um, this one's 12 months. Probably had it longer than that, but. Here we are. I'm even gonna try to keep my brows as simple as possible. So we'll see how that goes. And for foundation, I'm going to use, I haven't used this in a while. Um, it is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF 15. This is also good for the summer, so you have some SPF on your face. Um, you could always go in with an SPF under your makeup as well. Um, there's one that Taylor here on YouTube recommends. I can't remember the brand, um, but I'll link her down below. She mentions it in a lot of her videos. I kind of want to try it myself. So we're going to go ahead and use this foundation. I think today I'm going to use a brush because I forgot to wet my sponge. Um, I think I've tried a brush with this before and I wasn't a huge fan, but we're going to give it a go again and see how I feel about it this time. And this is like a, a medium coverage foundation, which is what I want. Like, I don't want anything too heavy, um, so it's not going to cover up all my texture and stuff, and that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that in this kind of look. Normally, though, uh, your girl needs full coverage, so today will not be that. So you will see stuff peeking through, but that's fine because I just want to keep it pretty natural and simple looking. Like I said, I hate the feeling of super cakey. Even if it's not cakey, it feels cakey when it's really hot outside. So we're going to try to avoid that with this kind of look. And you can even use like a BB cream or like a tinted and moisturizer. I don't own any, um, but this foundation's pretty light coverage for me. So for someone who has like really smooth skin, this might be maybe a high medium coverage, but you could totally build this up if you needed to. I was going to film, I have like um, a list of videos I wanna do. And one of them, which I'm sure someone else has done it before, um, so it's not revolutionary, but I'm going to do a makeup challenge where I do my entire routine using just my fingers. Um, and like I said, I'm sure someone else has done it, but what made me think of it was um, thinking of how I used to put on my foundation with my fingers. So I'm like, I wonder what it would be like to put on my entire routine with just my finger. All right, so as you can see, it is super, super, super light coverage. You can still see redness on my cheeks, even on my chin a little bit. I'm gonna try to cover that blemish. Um, but like I said, we're not doing full coverage. We're doing light and easy, but I am going to use concealer because my under eyes are super dark. Um, but I'm gonna try to go into the concealer that is close to my skin tone. This is the Tarte, or not the skin tone, but maybe the foundation. Um, this is the Tarte Shape Tape. This one's in the shade, I wanna say this is Fair Neutral. This sticker is gone. Yeah, this one's Fair, so this one must be Fair Neutral, which is a little darker than the Fair, and I'm gonna put this under my eyes. 
not too much, just enough to cover up that darkness. And I'm just going to take a sponge. This isn't dry or this isn't wet and I wish it was, but that's all right. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the excess up on my lid. And we'll just use that to prime. Like in this kind of look, I don't do anything crazy on the eyes. Um, definitely no falsies, which I don't normally do anyways. Um, I don't powder a lot. Um, I'm only going to powder my under eyes, which I'm gonna do right now. Because I'm not wearing something super heavy, so I'm not worried. Maybe a little bit on the tip of my nose. I'm not as worried about it coming off. Okay. I have um, like a lip scrub on my lips. Like it's the kind you just apply. Cause my lips get so like crusty looking all the time and it's really, really gross. So. Okay, I need to do my brows. I'm going to do those off camera, but I'm gonna to try to keep it simple. Wish me luck. So listen, I kept them as simple as I could. I did them very quickly. But what I notice is when I just follow like my natural hairs that are there, because I don't have many, um, my left eyebrow naturally arches more than my right. So that's why they always look so crazy. Like they look super crazy right now. But oh well, we don't care today. We're moving on. We're breaking out the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm gonna keep this fairly light on the face, nothing too heavy, just to give it that sun-kissed summer kind of look. I cannot get over the smell of this, like I can't. Oh, I love this color. This is the shade Light Bronzer. And I know they released, um, not, it wasn't recently, but they released uh, additional shades. Cause for a while it was just this one and then the shade Bronzer. And I know they've released some more. Um, yeah, so hopefully they have some that will cater to your skin tone. I really wish brands would just like automatically be inclusive. Like I don't understand why they don't like, it seems like a really bad business move to me to not cater to everyone. Like, I don't know. That's another, that's, that's a soapbox for another day. All right. So. Ooh, I went a little heavy handed on that side. I'm just going to take this e.l.f. brush and just dip it into a little translucent powder. And I can blend that out a little. I did go kind of heavy, which is fine. You can always blend it out. It's just makeup. And I didn't even set that part of my face. And it actually went on pretty well, considering cause I didn't even think about that. So... We are going to move on to blush, and for blush, I'm going to use the Burt's Bees Fair Peach. This is such a pretty color, and I feel like it's a really nice summer color. Ooh, it looks like this. And I'm gonna do this super, super light too. And I'm gonna keep it towards the back of my cheeks, and then with whatever's left, I will bring on to the apples. Maybe just a little more. So this is not gonna be like a flawless look. Like my complexion doesn't look super great as far as like wanting to look good on Instagram or shit like that. Like this is just, you're going to a family barbecue and you wanna look good, but you don't wanna put on like 10 pounds of foundation and like do this crazy eye look. So that's kind of what this is. Now for highlighter, I'm going to do something that's a little more subtle. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. I guess I could open it for you. Looks like this. And this one is very, very subtle, so I do like that. Now, as you know, we haven't gone to the eyes yet, but that's because we're keeping the eyes so simple. Like, I just like this highlight. It's super, super soft. You can build it up if you wanted to. Like, if I added just a little more, just a little on the nose. 
And I even want to add somewhere on the tops of my cheeks because it is so subtle, but like the way the light hits it is super pretty. I don't know, just talking. All right, so for the eyes, when I said we are keeping it simple, I was serious. I'm going to grab my, oh, where is it? Holy Grail brush for the crease. This is my Olimar Cosmetics brush. And I'm just gonna take the same bronzer that I used on my face, and I'm gonna run this into the crease. Bronzer, like the bronzer you use on your face is always a really nice like transition shade or crease shade. But I am keeping this super simple today. I'm do the same thing on the other side. You don't need to be too precise. Like it, it's not a big deal. This is just something super simple, super easy, but still cute. If you hear that in the background, Alex is working out. I'm not entirely sure what that noise was, but I know he's working out because the kids are all asleep finally. Okay, I'm going to take a pencil brush. I'm gonna take this fairly large one from Morphe and I'm gonna take the same bronzer and I'm going to drag this down here on the bottom to tie that all together. And then I'm gonna go back and do my lid just a little more because I'm gonna put this just a little more on the lid itself too. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna go into another highlight and this is just the e.l.f. Baked Bronzer in the shade Moonlight Pearls. And since I wanna keep this super simple, I don't wanna do anything too shimmery or glittery. Well, this is gonna be shimmery, but not glittery. I'm just gonna take this highlight with my finger and put that all over my lid. Just so there's something there that like makes it look reflective and you, you'll be able to see it, but nothing that's too over the top. but it still gives your eye a little something. I just think it's pretty, like it's super subtle. Um, for eyeliner, I'm just going to, I'm going to take the NYX, um, this is just a retractable eyeliner in the shade brown and I'm going to tight line with this, my upper lashes. I'm going about three quarters of the way with this one. Is it too far? Brought it too far down on that eye, but that's fine. All right, and for my brow bone, I'm just gonna use the highlight I used in my face, which was the Essence one, as well as my inner corners. Like I said, this is super easy, super simple. It's nothing I'm sure you haven't done before, but maybe you haven't. Maybe you wanted some ideas for summer. I don't know. I'm just doing shit. Super, super simple. For mascara, I'm gonna go in with I'm going with my Butter London. Need a mirror. My eyes look super bright today. Okay. Let me wipe off this lip scrub deal we got going on. This 
same line of the cover to lipstick. This is the shade Succulent Cherry. I like that. Definitely not a matte formula. Um, I like this formula though. But I like the shade because it is bright like I wanted. It's not, it's red, but I feel like it has that orange undertone a little bit like I wanted. I forgot I even own this. Like I never reach for my CoverGirl lipsticks ever really. Um, lately I've been reaching for usually liquid lips, um, but this is super comfortable. But that is this look. Like, it was super easy. Um, I'd go in setting spray at this point, but um, not going anywhere. So, but I hope you guys liked this simple, easy summer or spring look. Um, if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.